Uh, hey everybody, John Jackson here again for the second video of this installment series of uh, with Ted Thomas, the nation's authority, I think maybe the universe's authority of tax lien certificates. He's been doing this longer than anybody and he is the guy to learn this incredible niche from. So, wow. So uh, yesterday's video was so full of information. I think my head was uh, exploding, but let's talk about is, can you talk about a little bit of a recap first then we'll step forward. Just a quicker view again of what a tax lien certificate is. Okay, so folks across the United States, there's over 3,000 counties. Now, the counties are the ones that administer all of this, okay? So every property in the United States, so there's 100 million of them, every property has a tax. All right, so half of the states, if they don't get paid, they're going to issue a tax lien certificate. Now, that's a safe, secure, predictable investment. The other half of the states, they're going to actually confiscate the property. So if you lived in New York or California and you don't pay the tax, I can tell you right now, they're going to confiscate that property. Now, in both cases, the county never wants these properties. They don't want them. So the tax lien certificates, when they sell those, anybody can raise their hand and buy a tax lien certificate. For example, this is a, this is a tax lien certificate list for Jacksonville, Florida. And there's over 30,000. I'll, I'll do it this way. There's over 30,000 tax liens in this newspaper. Over 30,000. That's one county of the 3,000 counties plus out there. All right. So I can show you tax defaulted property, and they give me lists like this, where they show the properties that they're going to sell. Okay, and I just downloaded that off the internet, and this, this particular county is going to have 200 properties, Sullivan County, and that's right outside of New York City, but every county in the United States is going to sell either tax liens or tax deeds. You can profit from both of them. So we're going to do a bunch, a bunch of questions on that, so back to John. Well, okay, you can see I'm, I literally have papers all thrown out here, uh, Ted, and I'm writing <laughs> notes and stuff. So, uh, so let me ask you this, Ted, because uh, you, you you said something that I, I uh, struck me. Are tax lien certificates in every? Are they available in every state? Tax lien certificates are only available in half of the states, but the other set, half of the states sell tax deeds. Now, for the person that's watching, I've been doing this for more than thirty years. So, what I had to do when I wanted to find out about tax liens, I lived in California. They didn't sell them, so I had to drive to Arizona. But today, everything's online. So, we're going to teach you to be. You sit right on your assets. We're going to teach you to sit on your assets and do this business. Now, I can't teach you today, but I can teach you on an all-day event, which I'm going to do on the 27th. And we'll actually show you people that are in Canada, British Columbia, Singapore, you know, all of Australia. They're buying online. Any, any place that's English speaking, we can do this online. So, so the world is yours now. Man, I, 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 uh... I want to come back to, I wanted to ask that and you just hit on it. So what a segue is, uh, and obviously you can do this online. So I was envisioning in my head, cause I used to go to the auctions every, uh, the, 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 the first Tuesday of the month and you'd see the, the, uh, the auction, you know, all these different trustees doing the auction. And then over there were people in a tent and I never understood, well, how can they get to hang out in the shade? This, this is how it was in Tarrant County. Anyway. And well, that was the tax deed, uh, sale, the sheriff had. So, uh, so you, but you had to go to the courthouse and the whole, you know, the old days. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. So you went to Fort Worth. You, you can do all this uh, online. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. You can do the whole thing online. Now, some of the counties are going to say they want to do a live sale. Between you and I, we got if we got real estate investors we're talking to, they actually probably want to go to the actual auction because you're going to do better than the average because you're going to say, oh, that person's not going to do anything. You can kind of listen to their bidding. You know, a person doesn't have any money. They'll say. 4,122, which is all they got with them, right? And you say 5,000, you say 10,000, sold. You know, the auctioneer knows who the hell's got money. They just want to get rid of this stuff, right? So uh, online, the bidding process sometimes can start at noontime and go right through it. it might take till midnight because they have minutes between each bid. And so it's a, long, it's a long process online, but you can do everything online, okay? And we teach you, we teach you uh, classes to do everything online. You can do all the research online. Well, first of all, you wouldn't want you wouldn't buy a property without seeing it. So we That's tell people, yeah. all right, let's research online, then hire a broker to go out there and take pictures or someone that you know that you can trust, make sure the property's there didn't burn down. So we cover all that stuff. Anyway, back to your question. Um, so you can do this. You, you can be in the U.S., you can be in Canada. I literally had a conversation uh, two days ago with a gentleman in, in Canada who was looking to invest in the U.S., um, and uh, so we talked for a while, and this would 
this would be perfect for him. He's in Canada. He can do this in the United States. I've got some of my students in, I got one in Columbia, the country. I've got uh, um, Columbia, New Zealand, all over. But this is easy to do. Perfect for all of them. I have people in Costa Rica doing it every day, buying it in Los Angeles. I have people in Colombia. I have people in Argentina. I have, I have people in in uh, in Bangkok, Thailand. I have people in uh, Sydney, Australia, and Melbourne, where, wherever. Any place that's got online can, uh, can get online. They have to have an American bank account. That's the key. If you okay. it, because they only expect, this country only takes one kind of money, yeah. and that's dollars. And, and so, okay, so um, they, have to, they have to have a U.S. bank account, uh, which you know, shouldn't be a problem. So let me ask you, should, should my, my students, should they buy uh, tax lien certificates or tax defaulted properties? All right. Now, real estate people should really narrow cast onto tax defaulted property. But to just get your feet wet, why not buy a tax lien? For example, let's say the average house in uh, is uh, 150,000. All right, so a tax certificate on that house, first year is only gonna be 1,500 or 2,000. So buy 2,000. You know, now you learned how to do the procedure. Okay, now maybe the person pays you off in one year instead of two. So you're gonna get your money back and you're gonna get the interest on whatever you bet. All right, so now you learn how to do that. All right, so learn that way. Or if you're really comfortable, and most people are really comfortable when they finish the training, they're comfortable enough. We go right in and we buy, if you can buy properties for 10 and 20 and 30 cents on the dollar with no mortgage and no deed of trust, how many do you want to buy? That's what I tell people. Yeah. How many do you want? You, when you're buying for 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar, you're not worried about selling for a hundred cents. Sell the thing for 60 cents on the dollar to a rehabber or a fixer upper guy or some guy that wants to do something. You know, just be in the investment business, not the real estate business and not the painting and fixer upper business. Wow. Being be in the paper that. business, not not the product. Exactly, business. exactly. Be in the paper so, business. And by the way, you can use that little, I just said that uh, you could you could use that. Like, be in the paper okay, business, then. not the product business. The real estate uh, This is, I just spit this brilliance out. I get, I get good insight. Without effort, without effort, Ted. So, so you're going to have properties all, uh, and valuations all over the map. Uh, should you, do you recommend people start off, should they, should they buy uh, big ones or, or uh, small ones in regards to the tax certificates? All right, there's two, two or three different ways to do the business. All right, now, if I tell a guy, let's go up to, uh, let's go up to New York and about, Two hours out of the city, they got these big, elegant, what, what they call colonial houses. So these are houses that tower up that, are, you know, got two big floors and, yeah. you know, fireplaces. They're setting on uh, four acres and the oak trees are 75 years old. OK, now these people are, 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 are sick of being there. They don't take care of things or they lost their job or they got old or whatever happened. So the property is slightly abused. But I mean. Might need some new towel in the room. When I need paint, whatever. These people let them go to auction. I don't buy those properties for 10 cents on the dollar. But I look at the evaluation. Let me just give you a valuation. So let's say it's, it's a $400,000 in a good market. All right. I'm willing to pay up to 30 cents on the dollar for that house. That's 120 grand. I mean, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the game. 120, then I might have to fix it up. But I can sell it for 400. Holy Toledo. 7,500. 75,000 does a lot of paint, a lot of roof and a lot of kitchens. My point. So that's one way to invest. Or I teach new investors, forget that. Okay, that's how Ted's going to do it, but he's been doing it 30 years. They're going to go and they're going to find a house that's valued at 75 or 100,000, slightly abused, needed, going to need some cleanup. All right, let's buy that for eight or 10,000. All right, do it a, light, a small amount of fix up and sell it to a fixer upper guy. Just clean it up, sell it to a fixer upper guy. Or there's 25% of the market who can't afford a house, finance them, do a seller financing deal on it right, and get right. 10 or 11%. You make 25 grand on the house and make another 15 or 20 grand on the. So you got eight or 10 invested and you come out with 40 grand all day long. That works. And think of Michigan, think of Tennessee, think of, uh, think of lots of Arizona. There's plenty of places outside of the main city where houses are still 100 or 150,000. Okay, take Georgia, for instance, in the city, 400,000, get out of the city, there's all the $100,000 houses you want, even after this insanity, what's happened this year. 
There's plenty of hundred thousand dollar houses. But if you are willing to finance and you understand that business, you not only make twenty five grand on the house selling it to the to the people, then you make a deal. I had a guy just in Tampa. Nobody said he could could do it, so nobody looked at it. The house was all overgrown, all overgrown. They didn't. People didn't even look at it. He drove out there, Spanish American guy from Honduras. He bought it for ninety one hundred dollars. He sold it for one hundred and twenty thousand with five thousand dollars down. And the people are in there cleaning up all the stuff, doing all the work. He's got a he's got one hundred fifty grand in this deal. He got a nine thousand dollar investment. But you know that's just for knowing real estate. But the point is. These things are all over the place. Now, I'm going to show you lists of properties that you're going to be staggered. There's just so many. I mean, there's going to be 5,000 tax auctions this year, and 99% of the people have never even been to one. There's 5,000 of them. That's, 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 that, you know, that leads into one of my, the questions I wanted to ask was about, so going to the auctions, uh, if, if someone wanted to go on, you know, in person, you know, and, yeah. and really experience that, which, which guys, no matter what you're doing, whether it's uh, testing certificates or lease options or anything, um, I know we love the, the idea of virtual because uh, it makes it sound cool, like we're smart. But the truth is that anytime you have an opportunity to immerse yourself physically into a situation around those, those surroundings, those people, please do it. Please do it because you're going to gain so much knowledge and experience from that. But at these auctions, Ted, um, are these big crowds of people fighting over these tax taxing certificates? Or are they fairly small? Okay. All right. Now, it depends upon where you're going to go. Now, here's a way to figure it out. Okay. A large population county will have a large amount of properties. For example, let me reach over and get, get the right. Yep. So a large population county would be Los Angeles, where there's going to be 3 million people. Okay. There's 2,500 properties right there on that list. Okay, now that auction is going to have two or 3,000 people. All right, but the rest of the United States, you take a place like Iowa, Indiana, one of the, if you go to Iowa, there's 100 counties. 100 counties, they're going to have only dozens of properties at those. So dozens of properties tells me, why don't I go out and buy two or three if I want to do it that way? Or why don't I buy one, learn how to sell it, make sure I've got a business, then go on to the next one. See, the beauty of the business is it never goes away. We don't care whether the real estate market's going up or whether it's going down. Tax auction properties are like this. There is no recession. There's no, no, there's no right. bull in your market. It's always here. I've been buying this, going back to the same counties for 30 years. And it's, it's across the United States. It doesn't matter where you want to go. Well, what, are the, um, what are the maximum number of tax lien certificates that are available, you think? Well, I know there's over a million certificates just in the state of Florida every year. One million. Wait, 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 wait. Just to say afford it. Wait, wait. Let me get, I want to make sure I understand. When you say over a million just in Florida, you mean- Florida has, actually, uh, Florida has about 10 million homes. 10 million homes in Florida. And there's one million certificates. Every year. That are created? Every year. Really? Really? A million in Florida. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm, if you, if, if you can like count that high and get Texas, you can find in Texas, they don't sell tax liens. They sell, the, they sell a deed to the property. All right. So I've gone to the Houston sale in Harris County. I've gone a half a dozen times and I've never seen less than 200 properties, some of which are in the millions. Some are the average is going to be 200, 400,000. I bought in in the in in the um, um, the woodlands and places like that, not junk. Forget the junk. Yeah, now, I've also bought in, on the south side of Tarrant County. If you tell me what it is with the dirt roads down there, the name will come back. I can't remember like, the name. Uh, of it. Dirt roads be like uh, Crowley, Crowley, Burleson, Joshua. Those yeah, I I bought in all ends of that, but you get the picture. So there's always whatever you want available for the that you can buy these properties. So the the point is. That every county is going to have a tax auction. All right. If you want to do tax defaulted property, Texas has got all you want. You want to go up to Oklahoma? They're going to have, uh, I can guarantee you this. You could just drive up to Oklahoma City, not too far. Okay. Drive up to Oklahoma City. They will have a thousand properties for auction 
on the list this year. A thousand. Now those properties are selling uh, are worth a hundred thousand dollars each retail. They're going to sell those properties two and five, fifteen thousand, that kind of stuff. You can go right over to Tulsa, and it'll be the exact same thing. I have people at the auction, and even though they, uh, Oklahoma will let them redeem right up until the auction starts, the auctions never have less than five hundred properties. Well, let me ask this, Ted. <clears throat> when when you when you go to auctions in person, you yourself, like the one in Harris yeah. County, or whatever, do you normally wear a, a Robert Graham shirt? <laughs> what does Ted Thomas yeah. wear to the auction? I have to wear a coat and a hat. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. You're like you're not that popular. Come on now. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, I know. like all your uh, all everybody's gonna go, oh my god, I gotta get an autograph. That's Ted Thomas. He's the reason I'm here. Yeah, well, it, it's it's not that bad, but I if they know if I know people pe people get all Kenny Wampus. So I, uh, I I do it I do it in places where people don't know me. Well, yeah. you're probably the reason a lot of them are there is because they is there's no doubt about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, my students that come to class, they even they even look at class pictures and know who other people are at the auction. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a gal that just bought one up in, in, in uh, from Canada. She bought in Florida and she was bidding against another student that they had been in the ah, same class. That's it's unbelievable. Funny. Yeah. Um, uh, again, guys, August 27th, please write down August 27th. Uh, we're going to be covering a ton, 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 ton of stuff. Uh, Ted is going to be unleashing uh, uh, everything August 27th. Uh, one last question here, uh, uh, Ted, and then uh, we'll kind of wrap, put a bow on this one, is um, uh, difference. So you've got tax lien certificates. You have tax deeds like we have in, in uh, uh, Texas. Is there, uh, um, yesterday, or maybe it was today, you mentioned something about Georgia. Is there a minimum, is Georgia unique in some way? Georgia's unique. And then after I tell you about that, I'll tell you a, a way to get all the risk out of the deal. Uh, so first of all, Georgia is a state very much like Texas. And what they do is they don't sell tax liens. They sell the deed to the property. So every month in Georgia, they have an auction. All right, so the auction is for that county. So Georgia has 168 different little counties. So they'll never have 50 properties. They're always gonna have 25, 35 properties and they do it every month. Okay, so they have the auction. And when you raise your hand, you're bidding to buy the property. So when you buy the property, so let's say it's a $100,000 property and you pay 15,000. All right, so you're the high bidder. So they give you the deed to the property. All right, now the deed is redeemable. That means the person that lost the property can come in and redeem it any day. And anytime they redeem it in the first year, if they come in and redeem it the first year, they have to give you back all your money plus 20%. You might remember in Texas, they have to give you back all your money plus 25. Okay, now if they don't, if they don't redeem it in the first year, you can foreclose. I tell my clients, don't foreclose, let it go into the second year. Now, if they redeem in the second year, then they have to pay you 30% plus all the money that you invested. And the year after that, they have to pay you 40%. And the year after that, they have to pay you 50%. So that's how it works in Georgia. So Georgia, if you bought a redeemable deed today, and they come in and pay you tomorrow, which some of them do, they come in and pay you the next day, you're going to make a minimum of 20%. The worst you can make in Georgia is 20%. The worst you can make in Texas is 25%. So that gives you some idea. Okay. All right. Well, this is, you know, go, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I want to tell you and show you a guy in Canada called me. All right. He's a rental guy. He buys a lot of properties, rents them. He got to the point where he had dozens of rental properties and three guys just fixing door locks and windows and broken kitchens and toilets and three guys working all the time. The real estate market took a dump. Well, they're already rental properties that weren't the best properties anyway, and they went down. Now suddenly, He's lost 10 years of appreciation of someone paying the rent. So he came to me and said, look, I can sell this stuff and come out with money. Can you tell me how to do tax certificates to stay out of the risk business? I said, yes. I want you to buy online and I want you to buy, listen closely to what I'm going to say, because you'll get it. Nobody else does. I got uh, my pen ready. <laughs> all right. Buy at the auction and I want you to get vacant, buildable, 
residential lots. Uh, oh, vacant, buildable, but because nobody else is bidding on them. You see, everybody else was conceived in the house. They live in the house, so they're going to buy houses. So what happens to the bidding on the houses? It's going up all the time, right? Nobody even looks at these buildable lots. So he buys the buildable lot. Long story short, I said, buy it low, sell it low. The value he bought in Riverside, California, the value was 225000 for the lot. He sold it, made twenty grand, but he did it while he was sitting in his basement online. Now, I'm going to show you this on the video, okay? He's in his basement, and he made $20,000 in 60 days. That got him off to it. The last property he bought was worth $800,000. He did them all online. They'll get to see this, and it's a video coming up right now. My name is Kelly Osmack and I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm a Ted Thomas student. I had purchased a, a lot in Riverside County at Riverside. Uh, I purchased it for 35000 and uh, after I got my title I listed it. It was listed for a month and I got a full cash offer of $55,000 US. After that deal I went to the uh, Kitsap County in Washington and purchased a five acre parcel. Um, in uh, Kingston and I paid 131,000 for that property. Uh, it's, it was a, had a 1,300 square foot uh, manufactured home and a barn on the property. Really nice property. I had it listed at 280 and I received a full price offer in four days. I went back to Riverside because it's a great place. I love Riverside for whatever reason. In May I bought another property, it's, another, it's in Desert Hot Springs. It's uh, another five acre parcel. It's, it's yeah. awesome, yeah. It's, I, I bought this property for $177,000, five acres of land. I, on Zillow, they had it listed in, in 2011 for $798,000. There's this house, there's, there's a, another 900 square foot nanny mother-in-law house, there's outbuildings, it's a beautiful property. I had a realtor go look at it and he said, yeah, it's, it's in, like from the exterior, it looks like it's in decent shape depending what the inside is. He said it could range for anywhere from you know, 500 to 800. I'll probably clear 100,000 US on that deal. I've never left my basement office ever. <laughs>